Hello, my name is Jason Kite. Today I will talk about how coyote attacks can be very devastating and sad in my way to help. First off, how many of you here have pets at home like cats or dogs? Now how many of you have experienced or know someone who has experienced this tragic event of losing one of those pets to a coyote? Well, one night, when I was driving home, a coyote ran in front of my mom's car. It was carrying something in its mouth. My mom finally flashed her lights at it, and it dropped a black cat. I felt very bad for the cat, and then a second thought came to my head. Well, flashing lights? Who would have known that flashing lights would scare a coyote away? So I thought of an idea, a collar to place in your cat or dog's neck. It will detect a coyote within 10 feet and shoot off flashing lights and an alarm in the coyote's direction. This here is a model of what the collar could possibly look like. As you can see here, there's an alarm in the front and sensors and small flashing lights evenly placed around the collar. This collar will decrease coyote's want or need for the animal after being used often because it will start to be afraid of the animal. This collar will not hurt or kill the coyote, but scare him away, because they have a right to be in this world. They keep away rodents, so we're not disgusted. According to lostpetresearch.com, cats are usually attacked in the hours of 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in their own neighborhood, and over half are killed in a coyote attack. According to lostpetresearch.com, 42% of coyotes' diet is cats. According to YouTube.com, when coyotes attack, they first chase the animal to wear it out. Then they bite out its legs to knock it on the floor. They grab it by the neck and shake it around. They leave it on the floor and walk away to wait till it is dead and defenseless so they can come back to eat it with no hesitation at all. Many of you may be thinking, how will I make this? Who will I contact? What materials will I need? Well, I could easily contact my uncle, a veterinarian, because he can give me some special tips on modifications I could add to my project, or some special investors who might have come in to the past to talk about a coyote attack, or even some patients who might have come in to talk about a coyote attack. What materials will I need? I would need some sensors, some flashing lights, a collar, and I basically combined all of them. I think my collar, pet safe, would change the world. Thank you for listening to my speech.